welcome back to my channel so today I filmed this tutorial and I am just in a good mood because this hair looks so good it looks so pretty let me come a little closer so you guys can see how melted it is I am not wearing an HD lace or a transparent lace I am wearing an all-new clear lace that this company has to offer so I love it. If you guys are interested in continuing watching this video and seeing how I laid this hair, keep on watching. There. <clears throat> Alright you guys, so this is the wig. Um, and I just wanted to show you guys how it looks on a mannequin just in case so you can get the full experience. But y'all, I did not pluck this hair. I did not pre um, pluck it, I didn't bleach it, I didn't do nothing. It came just like this. Like, do you guys see this hair? It is plucked. It's just ready to get put on, like it's ready. Only thing they didn't do is cut off the lace. So before I put the wig on, I just wanted to show you guys it and show you guys how it looks against my skin. And it looks crazy good, like it looks perfect it looks like a full hairline and this is what the inside of the wig looks like it is like a 13 by 6 lace front wig and I think it's about 32 inches the hair is extremely long I'm just gonna just do like this and just get that old product that was on the makeup brush and just basically match it to my skin I'm not putting any new makeup on there. I literally used this to do my foundation earlier. So let me show you how it looks now. It looks perfect. So if you guys have been watching like all my old videos, you would know that I don't do the ball cap method. But because the hairline is so fluffed on here, I am going to go ahead and I did go ahead and do the ball cap method. So first thing that I did notice is that I don't know if you guys can see, but it is very plucked. And being that it's so plucked, you can see the cap in certain areas. But I'm just going to um, adjust the wig to my head. And um, it looks like very, very bald right here. So I, I know what I'm going to do. So first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to cut the left and right side of my ear tabs. Pull it a bit forward so you guys can see how plucked it is. I'm actually gonna take out that side because it comes down on my hairline too much and it is a little bit too plucked if you know what I mean. So I'm just gonna take out this whole side right here and then I'm just also going to take out right here um, the wig and as well as right here. All of this will get cut out when I cut the lace off. Oh, all this extra. -ness. But as you can see, it looks so natural and beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and take a razor. I'm gonna use a more of a newer razor so I can cut clean. And I'm just gonna go ahead and cut. I continue it out. So I basically cut off this extra piece. And now this is how it looks. Which is pretty seamless if you ask me. 
So like, let me just show you guys it off the skin. And then pop. It's really, really nice. So now, there's like some parts like right here that could get to go. Yeah, it's like extra piece over there. So now I'm just gonna um now I'm just gonna slide the wig back a little bit and I'm gonna go ahead and put two layers of my so melted lace glue and once each layer dries clear I'm gonna put the second coat and then after that when that layer dries clear I'm just gonna go ahead and put the glaze down. So I'm gonna start right here. Okay. And as you can see, it's already drying clear. And once it's fully dry, I'll put coat too. All right, once that has dried clear, then I'm gonna go ahead and put the lace down. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start to apply the lace now. And hold on, this is stringer right here. Ooh, hold on, y'all, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. For my tape papers. Yeah, no. All right, and now I just pull it forward and I just lay it right on top, right on top. Just tapping it in, not too hard because these laces are very thin. And I'm gonna do the same on this side. Tapping it in, not too, not too long to spring. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and begin my baby hairs. I'm not gonna really talk through this process because I have a lot of baby hair talk through processes. I'm gonna be styling the hair. So once I finish my baby hairs, then I'll come back and talk through on me styling the hair.
Okay, guys, so I went ahead and did my baby hairs. This is how it's looking. I love them. Now I'm going to take some of my sleek mist spritz and I'm going to just put that on my, I'm going to spray it on this table and then use my finger and then dab between the lace. And oh, my camera keeps cutting off. I don't know why. But I went ahead and tied my edges down and let them dry for five minutes. And that's what I was trying to say before it cut off. So this is how the outcome is for the baby hairs. I did go a bit extra, like I went extra just because um, I'm extra and you know, like I went extra because I wanted, um, I'm doing a half up, half up, half down look. So I really, wanted it to be sculpted i wanted it to be pow so i'm gonna be taking my hot comb okay so i'm gonna go ahead and just take my comb and i'm gonna go ahead and just see see what i can do and how you know like how far i can part it out i know that I will have to force some of the tracks of the lace front. I will have to like force it into the ponytail. But I just want to make sure that I can get a flat ponytail. And this is going to be a bit harder to do because the hair is extremely long. This hair is long. So I've decided already that I will be taking some pieces that are up in that lace front and just throwing them into my ponytail. Now what I'm going to be doing is taking my hot comb, which is turn off, and I'm going to start basically like molding the hair up so I can get into this ponytail, and I'm going to be hot combing my hairs on this side to be flat down. and start to kind of put a little bit of spritz on it. And also chase it with my sleekness. See that? Just gonna make sure that that flat, that top, it's super flat and effortlessly. And after I do that, I'm gonna take the ponytail out and I'm gonna basically redo the same thing that I did again. And I'm just gonna keep on doing that a few times until I feel like it's nice and neat as I would like it. Oh, hold on. And another thing too, make sure you guys are brushing out that bottom side. I'm actually going to use this as well. 
I wish I had like a string or something. I seen this girl do like a tutorial on TikTok where she used like a string to slick everything in, but I, I, I don't have. So I will use the back of my comb. You get it? She just went like that. But I actually plugged in my skinny curling band hair iron. I'm gonna take some thickness and, and voila. So one of my ponytails did break and I can literally see it. So I'm just gonna cut some of the strings of it. I'm gonna tie that one out first. And then I'm gonna cut the strings. Bomb. That's for the ponytail that decided to pop on me. Boom. In the end, I'm just gonna, you know, take the clip out in the back. I kind of forgot about that. And this is how it looks. I love it. I've been wanting to do my hair like this for like a long time. That's my timer. All right, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and just show you guys um, how long it is on me. Excuse my belly. If you guys are watching this video, then you guys saw my big announcement. Yes, I am pregnant. So. <laughs> Excuse my stomach, y'all, but this, let me pull my shorts down, is how long the hair comes down. It is like above my hips. If I turn to the back, it kind of goes all the way past my butt. So let me give you guys some insights on this hair. This is the hair, and I'm wearing hair from XRS Beauty. I think this is my first time collabing with this company, but... Anyways, I'm going to show you guys what it came inside. It came very, very packaged nice. Like I told you guys, I didn't have to bleach the knots or anything or pluck the hair. Like, I didn't, if you guys watch the tutorial, you will not see me touch tweezers unless I'm like plucking baby hairs off of my skin. So, as soon as you open it up, um, they sent me like a pack of lashes. And this looks like it's like a, it's a six pair pack of lashes. Okay, come through. Then they sent me like an um, adjustable band for the back of your head for inside your wig. They sent me two clips, and it's just like the clip that I was just using. These clips come in handy, y'all. Okay, they had also sent me a wig cap, and they also sent me some flexi rods. I love when companies send me flexi rods because these are expensive at the beauty for like these be like six dollars for a pack, and you need like a pack of like six. So Yes, y'all. This is how it looks. I'm going to go ahead and show you now the comparison between the two different laces that this company has to offer. Alright, you guys. So, they asked me to basically show you guys the two different laces with um, lobster. <laughs> I'm going to say lobster oil because I said I wanted to show you guys what laces this company has to offer. And then there's like this whole thing. Like, I got a lot to offer. So, they wanted me to show you guys... Um, with got to be but I currently don't have no got to be so I'm gonna put two layers I'm gonna put two lines of my so melted so melted lace glue so you guys can see so I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my hand like this I'm gonna go ahead and put two lines two separate lines and I'm just gonna smear it off and I'm gonna smear the whole thing as well on this side so this is how it looks. I'm gonna let that dry clear. And I'm just gonna take off the two different laces. So the lace that I'm wearing right now is not an HD lace. It's a new clear lace. So I'll come in a little bit so you guys can see like there really isn't any lace. Like everything is fully melted into my skin. So I'll show you each one. And this one is the regular transparent lace which is still also nice but if you can melt your lace to a higher melt why not y'all see that smoke that's flying that's my hot comb like look 
I just turned it down, so. <sighs> I'm waiting for this to dry a little bit more clear. I didn't even put that much for it to still be white. I'm just gonna blend it out a little bit more. So it is turning clear. I'm gonna stand up and get closer so you guys can see. So this one right here would be the regular transparent lace and I'm just gonna put it against my skin and show you guys how it's kind of like there but not really. And then I'm gonna show you guys the new lace which is what I'm actually wearing. And as you can see, as soon as I tap it into the lace, it just completely disappears. So these are the two different laces that they do have to offer. And this is the new one, which is what I'm wearing. And as you guys can see, this is it right here. And you cannot see it at all versus this one who is still sitting kind of on the skin. So I'm definitely thinking the clear lace is more of a vibe. So yeah, they just wanted me to show you guys that clean separation. So let's see how, <laughs> now I'm like, ah! Okay, all right you guys, so that was it for the tutorial and showing you guys the two different laces. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you guys check out XSR Beauty Hair for some bomb hair. As you guys can see, it's given what it's supposed to be given. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching.